All right, guys, welcome to my LinkedIn profile. And today we're going to mostly talk about LinkedIn and building your presence on LinkedIn, sort of uh, representing yourself really well on LinkedIn. Um, so let's get started. Uh, now, the only other platform that you guys probably are more familiar with, more so than LinkedIn for us physicians, is Doximity. Now, to me, the downside of Doximity is that uh, there isn't a lot on there. Uh, it's not a very interactive platform, even though it tries to imitate LinkedIn in a lot of ways. Uh, there isn't a lot of connecting. There isn't, there isn't a lot of conversations going on. And a lot of it ends up being sort of medical or clinical. And for most of us who are trying to just do something a little bit different outside of clinical medicine or even in clinical medicine, it's nice to connect with people who are really passionate about healthcare but aren't physicians. So I don't see any value right now in keeping in uh, creating a platform that's even more uh, medical and clinical. We already are very isolated as physicians, right? We're very isolated as physicians. We interact with other physicians. We are only comfortable sharing things openly with other physicians. So if anything, we need people who have empathy and sympathy for what we go through and what we do and, our, and can recognize our expertise. And those are the people I think we want to connect to more. Now, some of these people here are my uh, our people, colleagues and people I went to medical school or residency with. Here's a lot of uh, clinical information, like they're basically um, uh, scraping the internet for uh, clinical information and uh, health-related news. But like we already get a lot of that. So it's really, it's, it's sort of interesting to me that this is what Doximity has decided to do. But they know what they're doing. Obviously, they have a they have a good platform overall. I think they have a really good platform. So I'm not here to rip on them. Uh, the point is that it, it really isn't what I would recommend for physicians who want to do just a little bit more. So let's start with my platform. It's pretty easy. Now, I, I have a premium membership, which means I pay so, somewhere between 30 to $70 a month to be a premium member. That gives me a few advantages, and I, I would recommend that you just read for yourself what advantages there are. But one of the things that is important to me is I have access to this learning module here, uh, which means that I can learn about a lot of stuff like project management, uh, about becoming a, uh, having learning some leadership skills. Now, I know these are really kind of ugly catchphrases of 2021, leadership skills, powerful, you know, but it's not about that. I think leadership is a lot of these things that you read and listen to. Um, and these videos that you watch are really fascinating because it teaches you to understand your audience, to understand your own shortcomings and just communicating. It's, it's really all it's about. So I know some of these things don't sound very exciting, uh, but they actually, I mean, I've learned a lot from it. So this is kind of my own, my learning portfolio kind of the things that I'm doing, I'm taking things that I've finished and completed the skills that I have acquired because of it. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute when we, uh, when we go back to my LinkedIn profile. So how do you work on your LinkedIn profile? So first of all, if I want to see what my LinkedIn profile looks like, when somebody clicks on me, um, then this is what they see. Now, my actual public profile is simple. It's just my name, Mohammed Ashori MD. And the way I had, th the way you can edit this for yourself, if you want to show that you're an MD, versus DO, uh, you know, or you just don't want to show that you're you're an MD, that's fine. But this is one way is you just add an MD at the end of your uh, last name. And so let's go over that. So here's the things that you can do pronouns, you know, you can do him, her, etc. Current position, what are you doing? What is the main thing that you're doing? So I'm a clinical consultant. So obviously, over here, I want to maybe write uh, uh, I, I could say clinical data consultant, I can write uh, healthcare consultant, uh, I can just say urgent care physician, uh, and then I can highlight my current position, what am I working on, where am I working, and the kind of industry that I'm in, the education that I've had, medical school, uh, residency, uh, the location that I'm in right now, has actually just changed yet again. Uh, and uh, I can edit my contact information. This is for people who want to reach me. So over here, I put my website on. Uh, so this is my uh, company website. Um, and then there's a personal website I can add, my cell phone uh, and my email address, which people in my network can can access. And I think that's that's helpful to me. My date of birth, uh, which is unnecessary. You can you can you can fake that. And in fact, it's perfectly fine to fake it. Nothing will happen. Um, so here it's asking me for my location, country, uh, United States. I should be able to do this. All right, United States uh, and 
postal code. Okay, so this is my location. Now, what is the, what is the rest of it looks like? Up here, it'll kind of show you, it, it'll show the reader. Um, so if I put this into a tab, like a, a incognito tab, this is what it will look like. So it doesn't know it's me. Um, and it will, it will show that uh, this is my company website. Uh, this is my uh, actual education. And this is the most recent person I, uh, or business that I work with. What do I do? Clinical data consultant, I have 160 connections. Um, uh, contact Mohammed for services. That's cool. You can uh, click on that and you can say, these are the services that I offer, healthcare consulting, in-person or remote, and, I, and I'm available for business. So that's kind of cool. And then here's a little bit about me. Uh, here are people also viewed. So there's some connection, people who look me up, look them up. If they look them up, they look me up because they know there's a connection there. Uh, and these are some of the articles that I've published, right? These are some of the things that I've written on LinkedIn. Uh, this is some activity that I've had. Some these are the posts that I've created, which is different than the articles. And then these are the experiences, the work experiences that I've had. I've, had, I've been a chief, chief uh, medical uh, officer, a, a telemedicine physician. I've done primary care. Uh, I've done work at Remedy. I've been adjunct professor. I've done consulting. So you can see there's a lot of experience there. Um, and then I might put my I have put my, I've decided to put the majority of my education on there, but quite frankly, you don't need to, right? You don't need your undergrad, you don't need your high school. So there's really no reason uh, to do that. Um, and then my licenses. So I have a license in data visualization. So that's one of the courses that I took on LinkedIn. So it gave me the certification. Uh, I have a, a SQL, which is a kind of for data science or uh, data analytics, my board certification in family medicine, my board certification in family medicine through MBPAS and my uh, current li licenses and a few other things that I have. And then I wrote my languages that I work, that I am proficient in, and there's some more activity. That's it. So wh why is this important? Why is this uh, good? Because if somebody wants to reach out to me and say, hey, what does Mo know? What does Dr. Mo know? Well, they're gonna get a really good sense here. They're also gonna be able to find connections. And this is one of the one of the things I'm starting to learn that having connections is really important. So I have fewer connections than I have followers. It's probably a good idea for me to maybe uh, start uh, creating a little bit more of a connection. And I'm starting to do that. And one of the ways I have decided to do that is I've, I've decided to create an actual uh, group, uh, a group for uh, physicians that can be there. I, I called it Nomad Physicians. So I created this group, made a little logo for it. And here are how many? Five people? Six members. I already got six members. These are the physicians who are on there, which is super exciting because this will be a place where we can have a conversation about being a digital nomad physician, being a nomad physician, having the flexibility of doing clinical and non-clinical -clin work. Um, and it's it's a good place for us to have that have those kind of conversations. Now, what I like about the feed here is LinkedIn does a great job of putting people on my feed with whom I probably would have a good connection with. I, I don't have Facebook, so I don't know what Facebook would look like, but I would figure Facebook does the same thing. That they sort of see what your activities are and based on that, they connect you with like-minded individuals. So here, I know Milton Chen, I've talked to him before, he's the CEO at VC. And this, uh, he's also the CEO of This American Doc. And we've had conversations before about his product and what he's doing. And so I like to engage. This is probably one of the most important things. So let me tell you why. We, so here it says, we've improved how you manage your clinical storefront hours so you can save time and improve patient satisfaction, learn more about VC's clinic. So I might click on this link, see what he's writing, see what he's doing. Um, and, you know, what is it that you have? Out of display for your walk-in hours. Okay, so they changed the... Uh, they changed their software a little bit for telemedicine and they really were lagging behind quite a lot because of engineering issues compared to other telemedicine providers, uh, platform providers. And so I might leave a comment here like, hey, this looks really good. A few suggestions that I would be or a few things I would be looking for in a software platform would be this, this, this and this. So you want to give feedback that's um, that's helpful, that demonstrates what you're really into. And this is the stuff I'm interested in. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not just trying to post a bunch of stuff everywhere to be discovered. I'm, I'm posting stuff that I think is really important and interesting uh, because I want other people who are interacting in that conversation to teach me something else, to teach me something back, or I want to be able to teach somebody else to, uh, to other people. I might mention here, um, also check out uh, doxy.me or also check out <clears throat> uh, Concentra's new telemedicine platform. And so that might be the conversation that I have on there. Uh, and then there's a few other things like Pfizer, and this is another doctor who I think I know Dr. Kessler. 
I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, so these are a few other people who uh, basically whose posts, whose uh, you know content I get to interact with, and I love that. Uh, and I think that helps build build me and make me a better uh, clinician. So. When you click on your platform here, you'll see these editing buttons. Um, <clears throat> you can change this, so you can delete this photo, you can filter it, you can adjust it. Um, this is kind of nice because if you have something that's a little bit uh, more aggressive, uh, you can change it. I'll, 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 go, I'll get into that in future, um, in future recordings. But basically, everything I do is very intentional. So the reason I upload certain photos, certain images is because I want to filter for certain types of clients and I want to filter out certain types of clients. Uh, to give you an example, for me, if you are a mega corporation, if you're a business who's just trying to make a lot of money, maybe go to Medicare Advantage plans and just bill them to death and be able to make as much money as possible, I'm not your candidate. I don't want to do any kind of consulting in that space. But if you're a healthcare startup trying to um, address healthcare needs or access, I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I definitely would be very passionate and excited about something like that. So I pick my content very specifically. I pick my background image here. And again, you can choose your own logo. In fact, if you want, you can go to uh, Canva. I, I mean, if you're a physician who wants to be discovered, who wants to be out there, you need a platform like Canva where you can create all of your own designs. And these are all my own designs. These are all the things that I've work, worked on over the years, I've created. Um, and these are the things that I use on various platforms when I want to post something. So if I go, uh, let's close this one. If I go over here um, and I want to uh, change the photo, it usually will tell me what the aspect ratio is, or it'll give me a bunch of options to choose from. And so what I can do is I can actually download one of these and take it over to Canva and edit it, or I can just go on here and type in LinkedIn. Whoops, I messed that up. So if I typed in LinkedIn, all the all the different things that are associated with LinkedIn pop up. And I can even go a step further. I can click on what I want. Well, I, I don't, do I want a post banner? Do I want a, a regular banner? So if I go on a regular banner, then it gives me all of these banner options and I can click on one. So let's click on this one and it'll allow me to edit it so that I can upload it here, right? This will be my new banner. Um, and it's not really difficult to navigate this. Uh, but it does, it does really make you stand out. So I can click in here and say digital nomads at LinkedIn, right? So I can click on this. I can delete one of these here. Yeah, just, I just press delete on it and then I can go to elements and I can search for hearts. Um, and then maybe I'll do something like this instead. Oops. I'm moving too fast. I'm moving too fast. Okay. So I might add something like this, delete this, put this on here. I might make this bigger and then change the font to something like, uh, something darker, but, uh, I can also make this maybe see-through. So it's a little bit less, uh, blatant in your face. So I, I'm, there's just so many options that you can do. And then later I can, uh, download this. Uh, I can publish it to LinkedIn directly, or I can download it as a file, um, and then upload it. Uh, on LinkedIn. So really cool. A lot of options for you to really edit it. Same with your photo. I have different photos that I can um, upload in here. I chose this one for myself. Um, I'm always, <laughs> I, I always wonder like, oh, God, does this look a little bit too, like a little bit too much or not? I don't know. Um, but I think it works good. Uh, it's, it's worked well. I've gotten the right kind of connections that I want. It's the right fishing photo. You know what I mean? Um, so here's my contact information. So you can edit that. Um, and then here I did some hashtags. If somebody looks for medical career, healthcare, medicine, healthcare consulting, digital nomad physician, uh, they're going to find me. Uh, and then uh, you can edit that uh, in, in this section. You can add all of that, all of those sections in there. And then you can add a section. There's a bunch of different uh, sections that you can do background, uh, what you want featured articles, uh, your about page, your introduction. Uh, and what I've decided to do is, uh, let's see, um, yeah, so you can improve this by adding more locations, etc. Uh, what I've decided to do, where's this section here? Let's see. Where I do my about, edit contact information, more, 
add a section about huh, feature. Uh, interesting. Ah, here it is. Sorry, uh, I had to scroll down more. Okay, so about I said what what am I what am I about about I'm about free primary care, virtual medicine, digital scribing. Um, I'm about prevention over intervention, voice technology, smart EHRs, um, patient empowerment, and I also here wrote before reaching out to me. Uh, for work opportunities, please review my medical license disciplinary action by the Oregon Medical Board for not cooperating with their investigation 2017. Now, why did I write this? I wrote this because I, again, I'm just trying to filter out for people whom I don't want to contact me. If you worry that I've had a disciplinary action in medicine and you don't, you're less concerned or less worried or less uh, impressed by all the other things I've accomplished, you and I shouldn't work together because you probably need somebody who's public facing and shouldn't have anything negative on their record. So it kind of helps me uh, filter a lot of people out. Now here, in these kinds of things, you, you want to be really detailed because these keywords, uh, the keywords here are what people are going to find you under. So what I'm trying to say is I put urgent care physician um, and I put freelance. So you have, you have other options, part-time, self-employed, freelance, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and then I type in the name of the company. So you can actually search for the actual company. The company will come up. So when I go to the company later, I can actually find myself on there, which is actually pretty good. Like you'll see that in the future. Uh, hopefully I'll show it to you in this video. If not, I'll in future videos. And then I do my start date and I do my end date. Um, currently, I'm working here, so I don't have an end date. Um, it says, do you want to change your headline? I don't want to change my, I'm going to keep my, uh, uh, my headline as it is. I'm a clinical data consultant. That's really what I want to focus on. And then it says, urgent care physician for patients in the downtown Los Angeles area. Perfect. That's good enough. I can do media. I can add um, uh, photos of work that I've done if it's relevant. I can do portfolio images on there if it's uh, maybe more of a consulting uh, situation. And then if within the same company you move up, to a different position, what you do is you add another level. So you say, initially I started out in 2016 to 2017 as a telemedicine physician. Later I moved over to director of clinical informatics. And I think this is a really good thing to highlight to people that you actually move up in the position and do something different and more important. And uh, that, sh that shows a lot. That shows that you really have accomplished more than just uh, the one thing that you did, you actually were uh, uh, promoted to another position. So you can do this. And that's kind of one of the other tricks that uh, I think you can find with uh, LinkedIn. Uh, and then down here, you can add, you, you can take uh, skill quizzes. So um, sk skill quizzes are basically mostly for data science and other, other types of things. They're not really re relevant to uh, healthcare. So you can do Microsoft Excel R, machine learning. Uh, believe it or not, these are actually important skills to show on your uh, on your resume because people care about this. When they want to hire you, they care about this. Um, if you go further down, I have certain interests, which means these are the things that I've clicked on that I'm following. So be mindful of what you're following because these are the things that are going to show up here. But it's also nice because what you're following is also going to give you the right kind of um, Basically, on your LinkedIn uh, main main page, you're going to get those kind of interest, like articles posted by these companies. So it's sort of good. And I'm only on a few groups, not a lot, and then some schools uh, that I'm following, which I don't need to follow that, and I don't need to follow that. <laughs> okay, uh, I always update it. I always update it. There's always stuff that I understand. And then down here is like some things that you're interested in. Like you can click click these things. I think it's sort of. I don't know. It's uh, that's so so. Um, languages. That's perfectly. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I would be careful when you add certain languages that you don't want to be involved in. For example, Spanish language. You're gonna. You might get somebody who is interested in finding you to do certain things in Spanish language. Even though your, your Spanish might be perfect, you may not want that kind of job. So be careful of the kind of things that you post on there. I think uh, that that makes a difference. And then license and certifications, any kind of license or certification that you've got, you can import here. Uh, it doesn't have to be something that only LinkedIn has. You can uh, put a credential ID and credential URL. Believe me, if you have an outside credential, you can find it, whether it's ACLS, whether it's PALS, whether it's um, 
some drawing, uh, like painting drawing credential that you have or education or teaching credential that you have, your board certification for a sleep medicine, anything that you have, you can link on here. And I think that's uh, that's an important one to do. Um, so for example, what doesn't show up here is my, uh, towards the top is my medical license, which is sort of odd, but uh, I, I prefer for that to be at the very, very top, but it, it, it's just the way it works. Um, Anyway, um, that's pretty much everything that I have. Uh, featured articles, you can choose which one you want to feature, but this is one of the articles that I uh, wrote on my own website. So I link on it, link to it, Learning Data Analytics for Physicians, just because it's my own website and I want that uh, connection there. I want physicians who find me on here to maybe subscribe to my, <laughs> to my website. Um, and then what else is there? So these are my network. Um, this is how you can find uh, physicians. Uh, I think this is actually really good. So if I go up here to family medicine, there's a couple of things that I can do when I do a search over here. One, I can do jobs and LinkedIn for jobs is incredible. I've written a lot about it on my uh, web on my website. Uh, the news, uh, I've talked about it in my newsletter. I've talked about it on linked on, on on my podcast. I think it's incredibly important for you to look for jobs on LinkedIn because there's some really great connections and, just, and there's a lot of research that you can do as well. So one, I can search for people. So I can try to connect. You can see I have some pending connections here. I can try to connect with different people who are interesting, like palliative care physician. That's really interesting. So I want to uh, connect with them now. With some people, you can add a note, and I think when you sign in for when you sign up for the premium version, you can email anybody in the link in, in the LinkedIn system. When you don't have it, you can't email everybody. So I think that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to say no. I just want to send a, a connection request, and. I can look for location. I can search for people in specific location or in specific companies, and I can add a lot of other filters. This is a very powerful tool for searching. Um, so if I go into family medicine, I can also look for family medicine in groups. Um, so I can do people, jobs, posts, companies, schools, groups. And I think groups is really important um, just because this is a group of family medicine physicians and, you know, they're. Uh, that they're talking about family medicine related stuff that might be really important to me. Um, so I can go to family medicine group and I can say request to join. Uh, so this one promotes discussion between all things family medicine. One of the, um, what is it? One of the primary functions or hopeful intents is the networking required to help physician of employment. Perfect. Um, so that's a great, that's a great one for me <clears throat> to be involved in. And then I can go back and see uh, this one is family medicine forum. I'm not sure what the difference is. And then this one is the general practice of family medicine in Australia. This is Seb Society of Teachers of Family Medicine. That's super cool. Um, I don't teach family medicine anymore, but I think it'd be a nice one uh, to be a part of just to meet like-minded folks, um, people. And then finally, you can look at jobs, right? And the nice thing about jobs is you can apply within LinkedIn, which means what LinkedIn will do is it's going to actually pull your profile. So this is one of the coolest things about LinkedIn that I like. I can go to more, I can build a resume. <clears throat> so I can say that I wanna use this resume. Uh, so this is a previous one that I saved. So I got clinical lead, telemedicine, director of consulting. I got all my education. I got my licenses and this will literally print like this so I can preview it. And this is what it'll look like Portland, Oregon, uh, my phone number, my actual address, my, my, my web address for LinkedIn, all my expertise, all the work that I've done. That's it. And so if you build your resume on LinkedIn, you never have to create another LinkedIn, uh, another resume. Everything's done for you. Um, and uh, that's probably one of the big advantages because you can share that with anyone and you can edit it as you like. So that's another big one. So that's it, guys. I mean, that's a little bit about uh, LinkedIn and building your profile. I think I gave you some good information here for you to try and build your profile. If you do, uh, please share it with me. I want to, I'll, I'll be happy to critique it. And if you are a physician, uh, feel free to join our uh, nomad physician uh, group. I think that's a, that's a great place to uh, connect with other like-minded individuals. It's nomad physicians, um, on, uh, on LinkedIn and, uh, I'll be the administrator. So we'll have some great conversations here. Take care.